Well, it's Peter Marcic of Montenegro who will be boxing out of the red corner. He's making his way toward the boxing ring. Saveli Sadoma of the Russian Boxing Federation heading for the blue corner. Priangstak Kionet of Thailand is the referee. And we are underway. This action from the third preliminary round of the 80 kilogram light heavyweight tournament between boxers from Montenegro and the Russian Boxing Federation. The taller figure between these, in this contest between two tall 80 kilogram light heavyweights is the man in blue. Saveli Sadoma of the Russian Boxing Federation competing in his third contest here in Belgrade. It's his first world championship appearance as it is for his opponent in red, Peter Marcic of Montenegro. Both men with outstanding displays to get themselves to this portion of the court tournament. It was a really hard fought win in the first preliminary round, the round of 64 for Marcic eliminating Nikita Neistat of Finland the 19 year old Finnish national champion who scores with a good left jab poking up skipping his way out of the corner then dropping down to the body and that's the tactic that he used to such good effect in that contest particularly in rounds two and three sticking and moving giving his man angles showcasing wonderful variety and then he used the same tactics along with volume of punch output to eliminate the tall pressure boxer from Barbados, Charles Cox. The 2017 Pan Am Games, 2019 Pan Am Games, excuse me, 2017 America's Continental Championships participant. As for Sodoma, well, he scored a knockout in his previous contest against Hakabayan Ambadzum. Beautiful boxing and overhand right to the temple, bringing about an end to the contest. That's a beautiful jab and right hand combination from Marcic, who takes a left jab to the body as Sodoma gets himself back into punching range. Good left jab to the body from the man in red. Two and a half minutes gone in this opening round. And Marchic's movement as he continues to circle left and right is impressive once again. Roundhouse left not too far away from Sodoma as he changed the angle on that lead left hand. Fainting with his feet, nice head movement from the man in blue, then scores with a left jab to the sternum of his opponent. So the first round in the book. Very busy round of boxing between these two tall, 80 kilogram light heavyweights. The movement of Marcic, a 
along with the punch picking, impressive once again. But it's the Doma who has taken the first round across the board, 10-9 for all five scoring judges. He, the man applying the front foot pressure. Some of the action from the first round. Beautiful body work by Sedoma, pinning his man close to the ropes. So into the second round then. Sodoma out to center ring and looking to establish his lead left hand. Marcic dodging and darting. There's a left hand that gets through from Sodoma. Oh, that's a cracking right uppercut uncoiled by Sodoma. Marcic took it well, comes firing back. No real accuracy on that attempted combination. So tangle on the inside. Marcic clamping up the left hand of his opponent as he's driven back towards the ropes. The referee intervening, insisting on distance between the two men. And the action resumes. Good left jab on the resumption. Marcic with volume during that cluster of punches. Left hook not too far wide of the mark, but there's that right uppercut once again, followed by a left jab from Sedoma. Left hand to the body, scored by the man in blue. Right hand through the middle and the punch accuracy of Sodoma, notable during this first half of the second round. He's a man invariably in ring center, trying to stay in front of his man while presenting angles is Marcic, but he's short of the mark on that attempted backhand. Right hand success once more from Sodoma. Marcic off the mark with his left hook, it goes over the top. After good head movement from Sodoma. Looking for the right uppercut once more. Was Marcic. Excuse me, was Sodoma. Marcic circling clockwise to get back to the space of centre ring. Effective defences from the gloves of the man in red. There's a solid left jab to the body. Sodoma scoring with the same shot once again. Marcic coming back with a jab, but not really finding the range in this second round as he's put on the end of a flicking lead left from Sodoma once again. So closing seconds of this round, and it's Sodoma remaining on the front foot, taking it to his opponent. Sodoma looking for the backhand once more. Two rounds completed. And one suspects that second round is going to be scored off in favor of the man in blue. Marcic not accurate enough with his work in that second three minutes. Sodoma, Sodoma able to score with some beautiful right uppercuts, which were eye-catching indeed. One judge returning a scorecard of 10-8. Four scorecards returned of 10-9. So as we go into the third and final round, the man in blue in a really commanding position on the scorecards. Another angle of that right uppercut. Sweetly timed shot. Marcic took it well. But of course, you don't want to take too many of those. But Marcic going into the third and final round. The man in red facing a 20 points to 18 deficit 
for judges one, three, four, and five. Judge number two from Italy scored the second round, 10-8, for the man who just scored with a thrusting left jab to the body. And that is Savelli Sadoma of the Russian Boxing Federation, the reigning two-time national champion of Russia. Both of his national titles coming in this calendar year. The 23-year-old taking the senior title, and just prior to that, the under-22 national title. Marcic is also a two-time reigning national champion, having picked up the two most recent editions of his national championships. Boxed here in Belgrade earlier this summer. Came away with a bronze medal, losing to the man who would ultimately go on to take light heavyweight Olympic silver, Benjamin Whitaker, at the semi-final stage of the Belgrade Winners Tournament. He wants to extend his stay here in Belgrade again. He's going to need a massive final round. Because with a minute gone in the third round, it is a big deficit that he's got to overturn. That right uppercut has served Sodoma well. He went in search of it there. And Sodoma. While well, his presence is keeping Marcic on the perimeter of the boxing ring and on the margins of this contest. Because Marcic, while well, coming forward with a two-shot parade there, but that's a hard right hand upstairs, followed by a left to the body. Marcic fires straight back. Exchange of lead hands. But it's Sodoma still occupying ring center, backing up Marcic with his presence. And that three-shot cluster did see a couple of shots get through. Marcic goes looking for a right uppercut, but he can't penetrate the defenses of Sodoma. Counter left hand to the body is an effective shot. Marcic a big swing and a miss with the right hand. Sodoma, oh, that's a beautiful right hand. Arcing overhand right. Disrupts the boxing stance and balance of Peter Marcic completely. Referee on it in a flash to issue the standing eight count. And that's the same shot that he used to take out his opponent in the round of 32 here in Belgrade. So closing seconds of the third and final round and the arcing overhand right, serving Sadoma well once again. Uppercut through the middle, left hook in response from Marcic. And Marcic, to his credit, still getting on the front foot, going in pursuit of victory. And there's the bell to end the contest, a very good contest indeed. But it's going to be Savelli Sodoma going through to the quarterfinal stage of the 80 kilogram light heavyweight division. That standing count providing a punctuation point after very good boxing prior to that. Some eye catching left uppercuts in the second round. And his presence making him a formidable pressure fighter. Let's get the official announcement then. It should be. Sadoma going through to the quarter-final stage on a unanimous points verdict. The scorecards could be wide. Ladies and gentlemen, in the belt number 392 in the ring A, the winner of points by unanimous decision is the boxer out of the blue corner, representing Russian Boxing Federation, Savelli Sadoma. Savelli Sadoma with a unanimous point decision verdict. Taking all three rounds for all five scoring judges. Wide margins on the cards of the Italian judge and the Egyptian judge. A very good display indeed. And he'll return to the boxing ring to contest the quarter final in around 24 hours time in the evening session where he'll face off against Andrei Choriakov of Moldova. Very good performance and an exclamation point provided by a wonderful arcing overhand right that brought about a standing count. There it was. Terrific punch picking of a wide variety from the educated fist of Savelli Sedoma of the Russian Boxing Federation. Good win.